Hello and welcome to Friendly Plastic UK TV. I'm going to show you today how to make some fantastic curved tubular beads with Friendly Plastic. Today I'm going to show you how to make a, an unusual curved shaped beads using my tube beads kit. This is available on my website and it creates lovely curved shaped beads and it comes with uh, four different cores and a mat plus instructions. First you need um, to take your core, the core, the, it's a silicon core, and you're going to measure how much plastic we're going to need. So to do this I wrap the mat around the, the core and then I just add a little bit to allow for the thickness of the plastic. It is only rough, it's not going to be an exact guide. And so th then I cut my piece of plastic to the right size, which is what I've done here. Uh, but before I actually cut that width I also trim off the edge because there's a slight bevel on the edge, which you might be able to see um, on here. Uh, there's a bevel on the, the edge here um, which makes joining two pieces of plastic a little trickier so you want a nice cut edge. So I've trimmed off the edge and then I've got this piece and then what I do is I turn it over and I put a little bit of Vaseline, um, Vaseline on the back here. Just a little, just a tiny smear, not much. Position your friendly plastic um, colour side down onto the mat and um, onto the silicon mat with, that comes with the kit and then we're going to heat it with a heat gun now that the plastic is soft enough having been heated with a heat gun um, just see that you can bend it nicely and then just edge up using a needle tool or something appropriate just unstick it from the edge of the mat and then we're going to um, put the cord onto the uh, friendly plastic and just ease it up like you would a soft uh, a Swiss roll. Just ease it up a little so it starts to roll. And we can then begin to roll it all the way around and it'll have a join at the end here, at the end here. The thing we want to do now is wrap it tightly in the, the mat really tightly and then roll back and forth. If you don't make this tight and have the, the mat, a little baggy around the bead, you will have a baggy bead which isn't um, particularly appealing but if you wrap it tightly you'll have a nice tight bead. But What you have got is a line going down the edge there. Can you see that little line? That's the black edge showing and what we're going to do is do something to disguise that and make it part of the design. I'm going to place this briefly in cold water just so it hardens up a little to make the next part easier. Okay, that's now been cooled just enough so that I can now use my heat gun on just the edge where there's a the little bit of black showing through and I'm only heating it until it is a little glossy and then I'm taking transfer foils and I'm going to apply it to the edge there to where the black is. I'm just stroking it on if you want to you can wrap it all the way around your bead and it will pick up wherever uh, the foil will stick wherever there is no other foil so let's just see what that looks like Take that off there and I've got green going all the way through along there I think it's going to need heating just a tad more so I'm going to do that again I'm going to heat that a little bit more until it's soft all the way around Now I'm going to see whether I can twist it. And if you twist it you get the green going all the way around in a lovely spiral. This now has to go into cold water. So I'm going to plunge that into cold water right now. And I'm holding it in the cold water straight until that's cold. And then if I take that out the cord will twist back on itself and if you just pull it like that you will release the, 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 the bead because what we need to do now is heat it again and then we're going to curve it. And now all I need to do is bend it till I've got the curve shape I want 
and then I'm going to plunge that into cold water. All I need to do now is just give it a pull on either end and it will come away. And there you have a lovely curved shaped bead. What we need to do now is neaten up the edges and the ends here. I'm using a Stanley knife, a really sharp heavy duty knife to cut down and just neaten up the edges of the bead. Okay, so that's the edges neatened up. So I'm going to use this, the transfer foil again and the heat gun. Okay, I'm just going to hold the bead. You can see what I'm doing there. I'm just holding the bead over the end there just for about five seconds or so until it's nicely soft and I'm pressing it down and I want it to splay out a little. Can you see it's a little splayed out over the edge there? And then just snap that off and then just ease the edge of the colour round and down. This makes a really nice finish to the end of your bead. Hopefully you can see just what a nice finish it gives to the end of the bead there. There are many variations on this tube beads technique. Enjoy exploring them.